thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today I'll be reviewing the newly released Silverstone AR12 CPU cooler. This cooler is a single tower model with an MSRP of $30. I'll be testing and reviewing this cooler in my Ryzen 3600 test system. Before we get into the specs, the build quality, and the test results, if you're interested in PC component reviews like this one, gaming PC builds, or home lab server content, get subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon below this video to get future video notifications. I'll be linking to the AR12 RGB cooler in the description below, so definitely check that out as well. First, I'll cover the specs on this cooler. This is, as mentioned, a single tower cooler with four 6mm copper heat pipes. The heat pipes run through the base plate of the heatsink for direct contact to maximize cooling efficiency. The cooler features a 120mm PWM RGB fan that boasts a maximum airflow of 68.9 CFM. The fan has a static air pressure rating of 2.7mm to H2O. The fan has built-in RGB lighting. It uses a 4-pin RGB header so that it can be controlled by your motherboard as well. Silverstone was able to keep the noise rating on this model low. At max RPM, it's only going to generate about 29 dBA. The AR12 is compatible with most current sockets for Intel and AMD. All of the current Intel sockets are compatible. The LGA1200, the 11.5X ones, they'll all work as well as the older 1366, 2011, and 2066 sockets. In terms of AMD, it of course supports the AM4 platform, as well as the legacy AM1 through 3 platforms and the FM1 and FM2 platform. The cooler on this fan is pre-mounted on the intake side. I didn't notice that it interfered with the height of my memory dims at all, which was nice to see. In terms of total height, the AR12 comes in at 154 millimeters, so this should have pretty good case compatibility. In terms of build quality, the AR12 is constructed and designed well. As with most air coolers, there isn't much that can fail on the AR12. The unit arrived in pretty much perfect condition. The included fan was pre-mounted, which I did like. The fan features anti-vibration rubber pads, which help reduce the overall noise, and it does add to the color scheme. The product was packaged well and quite efficiently. I like to see this. There was minimal packaging waste, which is a real problem with a lot of online purchases. As I mentioned earlier, the AR12 from Silverstone is a newly launched product. Its MSRP is $30, but due to the human malware issues constraining the entire industry right now, the street price of the cooler is roughly $38 on Amazon. This cooler on paper is pretty much a good match for any mid-range gaming PC, so I definitely wanted to get this on my test bench, which is a Ryzen 3600 system. I do want to note before we go over the test results, I leave the CPU clock speed set to auto to see how far the automatic overclocking algorithms can push the CPU based on cooling. The Ryzen CPUs are temperature sensitive, so this will definitely play a role in your overall performance. For reference, my 3600 non-X model usually maxes out at about 4 to 4.1 GHz depending on the game or application. Starting out with 3D Mark Time Spy, I took the average of the CPU core temperatures over the course of three test runs. You can see the AR12 kept the 3600 at an average core temperature of 68.8C with a max peak of 72.5C. The CPU was able to achieve an average clock speed of about 3.925 GHz during all of the CPU tests. Moving on to the ADA64 CPU stress test, I took the average of three 20 minute long runs. The AR12 kept the 3600 in an average temperature of 85C with a maximum of 88.8C. The 3600 was able to hit an average clock speed of 3.875 GHz across all of the cores. In my custom handbrake testing, I take my older Ryzen 2600 build video and I convert it from X264 to H265 with the handbrake high quality preset. The average temperature during this testing was about 75.4C with a peak of 83C. The average clock speed during the testing was about 3.91 GHz. In ASUS RealBench, I took the average of the CPU core temps and the clock speeds across three separate 30-minute test runs. 
The 3600 averaged 73.9C during testing. The peak temperatures during the real bench test were about 82C, and the CPU was able to maintain a boost clock of 3.9 GHz on average. And lastly, we'll move on to the Prime95 test. The Prime95 test is really only in here to see the most extreme demand that a CPU can experience. This test is basically useless if you're looking for everyday results. This is just to illustrate the maximum load and how the cooler will cope with that. The Air 12 kept the 3600 at an average core temp of 88.1C with peaks as high as 93C. During testing, the CPU was able to maintain an average clock speed of 3.8 GHz. So this cooler, as I mentioned before, is coming out to us at an MSRP of $30 US with a street price of about $38 on Amazon. For the money, the AR12 RGB proved to be a great value CPU cooler. The 3600 was normally able to hit 3.9 GHz boost clocks without getting too hot and while looking good with the RGB glowing effects. Typically on a lower priced CPU cooler, you can either get a decent fan, a decent sized cooler, RGB lighting effects, or it can be inexpensive. The AR12 from Silverstone has managed to tick basically all of these boxes with its 68 CFM RGB fan, while cooling the 3600 to almost hit its maximum capable boost clock speeds. The only aspect of this cooler that I didn't like as much was the mounting system. This cooler uses the stock AM4 brackets and AMD's old mounting method where heat sinks with the tab and clips. While this was a little bit of a throwback, I can't really complain too much due to the cost of the cooler. Including any of the more advanced mounting systems would almost certainly have driven the cost up and provided basically no benefit. So in the end, this was the right choice. I would highly recommend the AR12 GB cooler for anyone building a budget or mid-range gaming system. Given the MSRP of $30 and the street price of roughly $38, this cooler is one of the best value coolers in its segment, and it's also from a reputable brand and in stock in the US. The cooler has an RGB fan, and the cooler overall has pretty good performance, so this is definitely a deal. To put this in perspective, some addressable RGB fans cost as much as $20 by themselves. This fan's going to come with the whole heatsink attached. The cooler really shines in the $30 to $40 price range for a new build, or if you're looking to replace that stock Ryzen 5 heatsink, those are typically not going to cool your Ryzen 5 CPUs very well, this cooler will, and for not a ton of money. I'll have the cooler linked in the description below, so definitely check that out. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're interested in this type of content, subscribe to the channel as there is definitely more on the way. In order to get notifications for future videos, you're going to want to hit that bell icon below this video also. I normally create gaming, home lab, server, and general tech related videos every week. You can follow me on Twitter at Sam's Tech Stuff, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Sam's Tech Stuff, or on the website samstechstuff.com.